So, ESG and private jets. That's what we're going to talk about today. Um, we're going to talk about, you know, environment, social governance. That's what ESG stands for. We're going to talk about sustainable fuels, um, things that you can do to modify your airplane to help um, in decrease your carbon footprint, piloting technique, electric aircraft, uh, and, and using your aircraft effectively. This is what this episode is about. If you've uh, never been here on BizJet TV before, lots of content, over 420 videos on private aviation. So have a look around, uh, subscribe, uh, click the notification bell so every time a new video comes out, uh, you, you, you'll know. And uh, my name is Fabrizio Sapali. I'm your aviation advisor. I'm here today. I'm a pilot, um, entrepreneur, and been in, in the business of airplanes for a long time. I started flying when I was 17, and now I'm 53. So I've been around a lot, um, flying around in airplanes, managing aircraft for owners and all that kind of thing. So let's get into today's episode about ESG and private jets. Now, ESG, lots of talks about this uh, ESG and private jet thing in the press lately. Uh, lots of journalists attacking the private jet industry, saying that they're, you know, it's terrible. These rich guys are flying around with these airplanes, just three people in the back and they're polluting the atmosphere. They should fly American Airlines or Lufthansa, blah, 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 blah. And what they don't realize is they don't realize and you know that private jets are really valuable business tools. So let's look at the different step-by-step -step, um, uh, approach that I want to show you today. Now, first of all, ESG, what does it stand for? It stands for Environmental, Social and Governance. So there's the environmental aspect, the social aspect of private jets, and also governance, you know, the new regulations that are coming out and that. And there's some politicians talking about, you know, banning private jets or we should ban them or this, that, you know. They just don't understand, they don't have an understanding of how the private jet is, is a business tool. So the first thing we're going to touch on is sustainable fuels. Now, this is one thing you can do if you have your own private jet, um, you can use sustainable fuel. Now, there are some of the manufacturers which are more uh, ahead of the game as far as the sustainable fuels are, Gulfstream being one of them. Uh, so you can uh, fill up with sustainable fuel in your aircraft. Of course, sustainable fuel is a little bit more expensive than normal kerosene jet alpha one. Um, but, you know, it's something you can do or you may not want to do. But, you know, it's more and more now airlines are looking into it. Uh, more private jet operators uh, are using sustainable fuel also because a lot of passengers are a bit, uh, they were kind of aware of this and they will call up to charter a private jet and they say, oh, um, can you please fill the airplane up with sustainable fuel on my flight? Because I don't want to pollute the atmosphere. I want to reduce my carbon footprint. Um, and so uh, if you are not operating that way, uh, you, you know, you may lose some passengers because people are, you know, are more aware of this, this environmental thing now. So sustainable aviation, uh, sustainable fuel uh, for, for private aviation is getting more and more um, available and it will be in the future. The second thing you can do on your aircraft is put winglets on it. Now, um, in order to put winglets on an airplane, there needs to be an STC, which is a supplemental type certificate. You can't just say, oh, I'm going to buy this plane and put winglets on it. <laughs> You've got to find out if there is an STC to put winglets on that airplane because you can't just stick winglets on a plane. Some airplanes you can't. It depends on, on, on the wing structure, the fuselage and everything. So from an engineering standpoint, it needs to be possible. Um, but what the winglets actually do is they reduce the fuel flow and they also increase range. So those are the two benefits of the winglets. Um, so you'll be burning less fuel and that obviously is going to have uh, less carbon footprint for you. The third thing you can do is uh, upgrade your airplane with modern avionics. Now, modern avionics can help the pilot fly the airplane in a certain way and perform what's known as a continuous descent approach. Now, this is a technique that I learned uh, back in the day, my airline pilot career, when uh, one of the airlines I worked for, uh, it was a low cost airline, and they were big into us flying these continuous descent approaches. Now, what is a continuous descent approach? Basically, um, when you're at cruising altitude, and it's time to descend, you plan the descent so you can put the thrust levers into idle and only add power when the landing gear goes down. Now, you have to plan this carefully. This is where modern avionics help you to plan that and coordinating yourself with air traffic control um, in order to be able to do this. Now, I then left this airline and went to work for a couple of other airlines and they weren't using this technique. And so one day I got very curious and I started calculating how much it was costing this other low-cost airline that I flew for uh, compared to the other one and I worked out it was about two to three hundred kilos of fuel per sector Can you imagine you're flying 1,000 or 2,000 or 3,000 sectors a day and you're throwing 300 kilos of fuel out the window because you're not using the continuous descent approach technique now this airline then eventually went bust no longer exists 
uh, I wonder why. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's really, really important to uh, get your pilots, or if you are a pilot yourself, your pilot owner, is to learn to do continuous descent approaches. Uh, because two things will happen. Number one, you'll save money on fuel. And number two, you'll pollute the atmosphere a lot less. And so, you know, it's a win-win situation across the board. You just have to learn this technique and implement it. And that's where the modern avionics come into it, which will help you, you know, plan these descents uh, in a more, in, in an easier fashion. And that's really important. The other thing that we've seen uh, that's coming on the market, and there's lots of talk about electric aircraft, and there are some, you know, single engine electric planes that you can buy these days and fly around. A lot of flight schools are getting into electric airplanes. Um, as far as the jets, the turboprops and that, there's lots of various projects people are working on. The problem is the, 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 the range of the batteries. What range can you get out of the battery? And also, you know, when you're flying in an aircraft, you've got to heat the cabin. You've got to uh, power the anti-ice systems. So, you know, all these, a bit like in a car, you say, oh, I'll buy an electric car. Oh, it's got 400 mile range on it. And then suddenly, you know, it's really hot and you've got to whack up the air conditioning. And that obviously guzzles up some of your range because it's using electricity or in the winter you, you put the heat up um, so it's the same on an airplane so the technology is not quite there yet with with the batteries in order for us to have an electric jet but people are working on it and i think the next five to ten years we'll, we'll see you know a lot of new aircraft come on the market i mean the big ones like embraer boeing and also airbus are uh, got a number of projects that they're working on to develop these electric aircraft uh, but at the moment, you know, we don't have electric aircraft. Um, I mean, at least in the, in the jet category, not yet, but it's certainly coming. Um, so just to recap here, uh, sustainable fuel, use sustainable fuels, winglets on your aeroplane, modern avionics, continuous descent approaches. Uh, these are all things you can do to reduce your carbon footprint and to fly your plane effectively. And the other thing is, is using your plane in an effective manner. Now, I did a video recently, and I was also featured in Newsweek, about celebrities and private jets and, and the misuse of, 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 of private jets that some celebrities do. Now, of course, uh, and I'll say this, uh, what you do with your jet is your business. And, you know, we shouldn't be pointing our finger, but, you know, let's just look at what other people are doing with their jets and how they're using their jets. Let's see what we can learn. Uh, because, you know, that environmental social governance, that ESG, you know, the, the social aspect, you know, consider the ethics and that of how you use your jet. Um, are you using your jet in an effective manner? Where are you going on that jet? What are you going to do on that jet? Now, of course, going on holiday with your jet will you know, reduce the stress. It's safer uh, having your own jet. Um, it's just you and your family on it. Uh, so there's lots of benefits there. Um, you, can, uh, you know, recharge your batteries on your holiday. Using it also for business. You're going to get in and out places a lot quicker, which is really important. Um, and you're going to be able to get into places that you can't get into with the airlines. It's going to save you a lot of time. You're going to get to these places a lot more rested. It's a peak performance tool. And so by doing that, you'll be able to, as an entrepreneur, you know, create more jobs. Um, you'll be able to, you know, make more money, pay your people more money. So then maybe they can afford to go out and buy an electric car, you know, and all this kind of thing. So you have to look at the big picture. Um, and so, as I say, you know, the private jet is a peak performance tool. It's a time machine. You know, you're saving time when you're buying a jet. Always think of the fact that you are buying time you're not buying a jet and think of how you're going to use it in an effective manner because overall big picture wise it will have a positive effect on the environment not a negative effect if you look at it this way and you follow the points that i've uh, described and explained to you in this video well that's all from me on this episode of budget tv i'd love to hear your comments what do you think of the environmental impact of private jets uh, what do you think of my take on this whole thing? The advice that I've just given you here. Let's get the comments going. Give us a thumbs up or down, whatever. Just express your opinion. Um, I, I'm all for people expressing their opinion. I think it's really, really important. And if you haven't seen this video I did about celebrities and private jets, which includes a link to the article in Newsweek um, featuring BizJet TV and myself, um, please go and have a look at that video, Celebrities and Private Jet. Really interesting. And that's all from Fabrizio Poli on BizJet TV. And I'll see you on the next one.